Okay, hello and welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Let's uh, continue with our Elbion campaign. Uh, things were, I remember, looking a little bit uh, more up than they were previously. Um, let's see. So we have Sertha Ek here, who has a damaged army, which the garrison in the Folly of Malefics could deal with, I'm pretty sure. Get your claws off me. I think... I should be more certain that the garrison is able to deal with an army, especially one which is injured like this. I just tend... I think I have a default, um, very low opinion of the garrisons in Warhammer Total War. Uh, <laughs> most of the time, I, I find... They don't allow you to do much then grind down the enemy forces and there's not much flexibility you have beyond that. And in most cases, with armies led by a lord, they're going to win that if only because you don't have a hero or a lord of your own to, you know, take out their own lord or hero. So, Any, anyway, that's uh, besides the point. Um, I am only for the perfect prince. Murga here. Chaos Warriors, Forsaken, Lot of Brethren, Beast of Nurgle, Chaos Spawn, and some Warhounds. That's fine. If you attack Twisted Towers. How many units are in there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. Okay. Ah, uh, you should be able to defeat that. I am not yours. You've got, what, five units of uh, Osworn? Some with great great axes, two warbands, four warbands, two with spears, S huntresses, two slingers, war chariot, hoblars, bloodhounds, and some, some fin beasts. Yeah, that should be fine. Supreme and we're over here in uh, the Fetid Catacombs. So, either hoping, hoping to catch out uh, Bellacor or Murga. What do you seek? If Murga attacks the Folly of Malefix, uh, we should be able to defeat her forces as well. I have a few extra units defense. here, Woad Raiders, uh, to help defend. We've also got this army down here, which spawned so from the uh, meter up here. Uh, I do not know what this force is comprised of yet. Last time, it was an army of Selenesh troops. Uh, Challenger of the Serpent. That could be Slanesh. I'm going to guess it's more uh, demonettes and all that. Limitless power. Uh, Twisted Catacombs. Do I want to upgrade this? We have 300 income coming from there, coming from here. 100 coming from here. I don't want to upgrade this until we deal with this. And maybe go and deal with Egrim. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. Infernius up there is retaken by the uh, corn forces. Abrax. That could be a bit of a problem. But I want to get rid of uh, Egrim up there. So if when we deal with both of these, I'll hopefully be able to go up here, uh, maybe after fighting these guys, and then deal with Egrim and I can do other things. We'll, we'll see how that uh, plan works out. Bellacor here. Can't attack my settlement next turn. What is your dark so we'll ambush uh, here. I mean, if you can't land on shore, I'm actually going to move up to here and set up an ambush here. That way I'm close enough to here to... Help if I need to. Though they'll probably just attack it outright. And they'll be able to cover short. I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway. Silence. If they, I'm, I'm wondering whether they'll come around a corner. Because they might avoid this place because I've got my other army in there. Jade magic yes, yes, yes. Uh, I don't want to upgrade that. Enter. Part of me having some tea. Mm. 
Okay, there's Akrim. Maybe he's going to keep himself occupied with uh, the corn forces up there. I mean, if he takes that, that's fine. Whatever. He gets rid of them for me. Oh, foiled my ambush. That's why they, uh... Yeah, okay. Your desire? And she went up that way. Okay. Uh, I can't reach you. No. You're probably going to keep going to the Palace of Princes. You are not worthy. Chosen of Hecate. What brings you here? No. You're replenishing. Overrun the world. Uh, what do I want in here? That would get me giants. That would get me some half giants or giant blooded. Druidic initiatives and giant stone throwers. Ben Hulk. Zotes. Those would be useful. Ben Beasts. This gives me more income though. That gives me more income from post-battle loot and raiding. That's pretty nice. I think most of my income is coming from uh, <laughs> post-battle loot. 2% of 2,000. Uh, 20. That's not really... Hmm. That's not uh, making me jump for joy. Up to 8%. So that would be 80. Mm hmm. Harjan Tides gives me an extra 8 from all buildings when I have an entire province if it's up to max waystone. That would mean both of those. I think if you're generating about 2,000 income in a province, you'd be getting like. 160 extra income, which is, uh, that's not much. If I added another 200 on it because of this building and 280. Yeah, that'd still be like... like 20 28 gold or so no 160 oh I don't know maybe about 200 gold I'm just guessing but uh that's, that doesn't seem like too much uh post battle loot like 50% extra post battle loot is nice because um that's actually like I could get like 4,000 at the end of a battle. So 15% extra on that is, uh. Well, that's like an extra 400 and. something. Along with other bonuses I might be getting. Thank you. I think Balakor actually... I think he went back onto the ocean. Cease. Ah, yes. Soloneshi troops. Madness. No. Yeah, he went onto the ocean. Oh no, no, there he is. Oh, that's a third army. Well. Go and fight him. Dealing death. Uh, what's this? Regeneration. Uh... What have you got? Physical resistance. Uh, 
25% and a barrier. I can give you that for 40% physical resistance and regeneration. There you go. Okay. Uh, I will take uh, the money. I am going to go Be ready. back here. Twisted Towers, I will get... What's this do? Oh, right. Uh, improves the uh, Waystones. Ample success chance increase. Growth. Casualty replenishment. Campaign movement rate. Recruitment cost increase. Ah! Uh, swap it to the Grand Hunt, actually. Those are pretty useful. What's it on at the moment? 6% 8. 6% 2. Minus 4%. 1. Get that. And... Kind of want to be able to get chieftains. Get that building. Okay. So much death. Supreme Sorceress of Grom. Uh, you can get... Expeditious Endeavor. Expeditious Endeavor. Uh, what's this? Deadly Hunters. Uh, yeah, that improves Huntresses, which I get bonuses for, so I'll get that. Okay. Do I want to upgrade upgrade anything here? Um Kinda wanna go for the uh, petty chieftain so that I can recruit one and go to Elbion. Cause I want to open trade with them. They've been just over there the whole campaign, and uh, I haven't contacted them to uh, trade. <clears throat> that should have been something I'd done a lot earlier. <laughs> but I felt I kind of needed my hero to help fight. I couldn't send him off to the Empire and... <coughs> uh, get contact contacts there. Oh, you've gone all the way around there. Whatever. He just sacked. It. Oh, you. Okay. You uh, brought those Norskins back. Well, there's the uh, Zinch rebels there, which are going to attack the settlement too, so. Now you've got them to deal with. All powerful sorcerers. Okay. I think the garrison here can deal with that. They don't have any particular uh, bonuses, do they? He's a Chaos Lord, Demonets, Chariots. What? Dominance. Uh. What have we got? Hunter Hunters of the Plain, Defenders of Cairn Malog. Yeah, they've got the, uh, pikes. And Cactor. Catch- Catch- Cactor? Yeah, Cactor and Bologs. <laughs> These two are, uh, from the, uh, tabletop. They actually have miniatures, along with a Truthsayer. It might have been Durald Durak. I don't remember. 
Um, but they were very, they're very like old Warhammer models, uh, metal ones, I believe, back when they were like lead pewter. Um, very lanky giants. Uh, what's he got? Hengus's blessing. Oh no, that might have been that might have been the one with him, Heng Hengus. In their time as mercenaries lost in the lands of Tylea, Hengus the Druid would guide Bologs and his brother Heng and his brother Hengus is far too old now to take to the battlefield himself, but he will still prepare the giant brothers with their with the last of his feeble magic for the battles ahead. Has a chance to periodically replenish some hit points. Activates automatically when conditions are met. Affects allies in range one. Oh, okay. He just like heals a bit of hit, uh, heals some of his hit points every th uh, t 30 seconds. And Bollocks has got that as well. Greatest champion of Obion. Plus four leisure for all allies uh, nearby. 553 upkeep though. Eesh. I'll get the uh, huntresses. Mother of the dark convent. Okay. The portents are good. Leave me. You have manipulation. Uh kind of a nasty stack. Feel my power. And that's a lot of uh beastmen there too. They are going to run if I attack them. I will just lay in ambush here. Are you going up to there or over here? Don't think I can afford to build that at the moment. I've got like 10 turns before I go bankrupt. Ha ha ha! You uh, didn't see my ambush. I am super sneaky. I wonder what happens if Meridian and uh, Malagor fight each other. I guess one of them is the rave, uh, you know, yeah, r r the Raven Queen, Queen and uh, Malagor is crows. <laughs> They're both corvids, they'll be fighting for control of the birds. I believe there actually was some news on the uh, next bit which is coming for Warhammer Total War. Uh, let me see. What, what was it? <laughs> um... It was the uh, name of the next uh, DLC, I think. Shadows of Change? And... Uh, you got to see the, um... The, uh, what's it called? Um, the, uh... Dragon. Of, uh, Cafe. The new, uh, Dragon of Cafe. Yuan Bo, I think his name was? Oh, why are you in the group together? Ugh. I make groups, but it's like the, uh... It's like the UI lags behind my inputs. 
And so when I make a group with one group unit and then I select other units, if I do it too quickly, it retains the selection which I had prior. I'm sure it didn't always used to be, it didn't used to be like that. It causes things like this where they were charging out of position. It's a uh, annoying. Swiftly. Whoop. Shifting. Ten. Hearken to me. What the heck? Did that magical bolt like turn around to chase me? For the lady. Hold fire. Weapons loose. Warriors of Ariel. For order, chieftain. To the death. Shift it. Very well. Quickly now. Dodge. Show the masters. Obey. Okay. Good battle. 40 losses. Oh nice, their spawn didn't get any kills. If we die, we die a hero's death, but we will not die. No! It has already been says we'll die. The money. The money. Okay, Slaneshi Army, where are you going to go? Ah, hello, it's Ragosh. I think he, uh, encamped. So he's, uh, hiding somewhere. Ooh, we get the Banner of Eternal Flame. And the crag are destroyed because Ingrid wiped them out. Twisting Towers is on the siege. Pyrrhic victory, that's fine. Take the money. Get a tribeswoman. Take what's theirs. Uh okay. Get that, get that, get that, get that. I like your shield, man, that's a cool shield. And your helmet, just based off of a uh, archaeological find. In real life, actually. In real life. Uh, I mean... Uh... I don't know whether the bonuses you get here apply to the garrison. I get... I don't... 
I don't... I wouldn't think so, because he's not leading the garrison. The garrison is like reinforcing units. So they'd count as being a separate army. But uh, it's one of those things which... Uh, don't think like the game gives you a definite answer on. Okay, get that, get that. Uh, those uh, beastmen are going to be somewhere. Sometimes you can see the little camp which they set up on the map. It's a bit of a bug. Yeah. That. Bit of a bug. Okay, well I'm confident we could take that Close victory Uh Where are those beastmen nearby? Let's play this I have to uh, go onto the uh, Steam Workshop and have a look at the mods because I believe there was actually an update made for the uh, expanded Immortal Empires mod, the one which adds Ind and Koresh, uh, to make it compatible with uh, Mixu's Unlocker, as well as any mods which uh, use Mixu's Unlocker, which is pretty big news. There's an inherent problem there, from my understanding, in that they're both what's called a start pause mod and uh it's like since they edit the same file uh the game can only i think the game can only accept one mod which changes this file so from what i i, I believe what they've done is that they've uh made the start pause for the immortal empires expanded mod the same as Mixu's Unlocker's one, so that the faction is added by the uh, Unlocker have the same addresses or something? I'm not a modder. I apologize to mod any modders listening to this and rubbing their heads now at my uh, terrible attempt at explaining what I briefly read before. I'd recommend going to the modding discord and uh, reading up on it there the people there are much more knowledgeable than poor me and my uh faulty memory trying to recount it so Okay, you can go there, you can go there. Chariots. There we go. Yeah, see, exactly. Like, what happened there? I had these guys, and then I click and drag here, and I make a group. And they didn't do it that time. Is it because I'm holding down control? Huh. I am yours. That's different. Because I would expect holding down shift to group the units together. Uh, you To make groups you hold down control and you press a number Very well. so i hold down control preemptively i didn't know control actually group actually continued like adding to the group i thought that was shift that makes sense because if you're selecting multiple groups of text 
in a uh, word document or you know selecting multiple uh like multiple folders in windows i'm pretty sure you hold down shift not control hold on i, I i'm gonna get sidetracked very briefly Well, okay, so they both do the same thing, but shift selects everything between one point and another, whereas control uh, lets you select uh, multiple things um, individually. Like that must be different from how it used to be. But I haven't been having problems. This is a situation where I've been doing things on automatic. So now that I'm trying to think about how I go about doing it, I'm forgetting how to do it. <laughs> um, which is terrible because it means that I can't figure out. I, I don't remember what I'm trying to bug fix exactly right, exactly here at the moment. It's just my muscle memory now. I'm just sort of going, something's wrong here. what is it and how do i make it like how it was this is a problem i've been having for months though it's just like every now and then just like why are things grouping together okay go over here right yeah they got barriers Ugh. They got the Acolytes who have the ranged attacks, but not too many of them. They got some Sorceress Trolls. <laughs> oh, I killed two of my horse horse horses. Ah, oh, my horsies. Whoop. Dodged. Ah. Not dodged. Not dodged. Whoop. Eight birds. Okay, under cover of the Lord. <laughs> Ow! Stop firing magic missiles up my butt. Very rude. Okay, they're all spears. And there is some reinforcements coming too. the spell shield but it will still deal damage to him ah! setting forth. Seeking entertainment. Unleashed. Hold position. shoot him Is it soup yet? I mean, is he dead yet? Hey, Agrim, you liked the bird so much last time. Ah. Oh. Boring. Smash 
Oh no, you're actually going to die from my uh, crows pecking at you. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, remember, Meridian has an ability, which is just a very, yeah, two to four points of damage constantly for uh, all flying units on the battle on the map. Attack those spawn. Okay. Right Face them down. Honor and glory. Chase them down. For the lady. Light the wind. Chase them down. Awaiting orders. As you say. Oh. Send them back to their hell. I want to get rid of these uh Oh, you're the garrison, are you? Well, whatever. <laughs> Don't shoot me! We're fleeing! It must be the will of the inch. Come on. Only 338 losses, that's not too bad. Got a little bit hairy in the middle there. Because they flee and then they turn around and come back then. <laughs> my name's Sir Blab Rockcut. That's your problem. It's an honourable name among the ogres, my name is. Exchange between the ogre man eater, Sir Blab Rockcut, and Morgan Bernhardt.
Okay. I think after this fight, I am going to rest up and go, and then go straight for, uh, Uh, Egrim's the uh, Silver Tower of Sorceresses. Supreme Sorceress of Grant. There we go. Uh. Yeah, get Wound Maker level two and three. Your desire. And you can get what's this one? Defenders of Myth. Right. Yeah, that's all the more. Uh, fantastical creatures. Do I want that? What's that do? Missile damage, ammunition increase. Missile def- melee attack and defense. What's my level? 30. So I've got 20 more points to spend around. Uh... A great pit of shades. Your, is Your army is getting a little scary. I do want to deal with, uh, I will do your bidding. Agrim. March over there. March over there, just so you don't end up getting, uh, lazy. Or procrastinator. Okay, they just teleport back to their base. Abrax is up there. No, not Abrax, uh, Ragush. Amulet Officials. Regeneration again. Can I give you something like that? You've got Luckstone. Yeah, I gotta give you this. Yoink. There you go. What's this? Armor of Fortune. Physical resistance award save 5%. That's glittery scale, though, which I like the minus 5 melee attack that gives. <clears throat> so I'm going to keep that on you. Uh, we will get 5 magical reserves. And move up to here. And I will... And put it. Uh... Lay it, lie in ambush. Sheesh. Do it. I'm gonna get both of you. Overrun the world. I'm gonna move back this way. And... And turn. Okay, he's hopping out of his settlement. They uh, discovered my ambush. I was actually hoping Abrax would come down this way while I was ambushing, but... Oh well. We get Avatars of the Land. Improves the uh, Fen Beasts and Fen Hulks. That will improve the Green Man. 
And now we're getting Holy Warriors, which will give Holy Zeal for Sword Maidens, Druidic Initiatives, and Woad Readers. Which is, while their hit points are higher than 50%, they will get plus 8 melee attack, unbreakable, and they can cause fear. Oh, Sigvald. Hello, lad. May their death be slow. Mm, let's see. No, scum. What's your army got? You, two heroes, seven claw aspiring champions, demon spew, forsaken, marauders, marauders, seeker chariots, horsemen. Eh. The variety makes me nervous. The actual composition is kind of whatever. Um. Yeah, let's attack this. Do we have something which can attack walls? Only the giant. I missed that mod I had, which um gave a uh, wall breaker two more units I'll have to see if I can get something like that again because that was that was neat you could use like dwarven miners to uh, break down walls uh, but it also gave uh, warbreaker to uh, more monstrous units I think like uh, shagoths and um, uh, what else if they don't have it the mammoths um, I don't know if dragons had it. Necrosphinx, I guess. Just kind of a lot more of the uh, single entity monsters. I don't think it gave it for things like trolls, but uh, with ogres having Warbreaker, that would make a bit more sense. Or, you know, if Ogres have got Warbreaker, then I don't really see why Trolls wouldn't have Warbreaker. Who is this Cain you speak of? bolts. Ow! Part of me wonders whether I should have just auto resolved. These towers are going to hurt. Whoop. Just charge down there. Go over here.
Ow! To splat. <laughs> At once. At once. On your mark. I want to battle. Fear my power. Swears. Come on. You killed the dragon already? Wow, that was fast. Kill them all! Swiftly! Men of Bretonia! Destroy! Kill! Power unleashed! Healing death! Yes! Command accepted! I was worried there for a moment that my lord died. There we go. And we didn't suffer too many casualties. Delightful. No, 53. Good. Excellent. <laughs> Old crusty face there. Ah. <laughs> uh. There's a sound in the background there, which I keep thinking is rain outside the window, but uh, it's just like a, a background rumbling during the loading screen. <laughs> and if I hear you publicly doubt yourself again, I'll kill you myself, Reichs Marshal Trenkenhoff. Probably talking to another commander or something, you know, you have to, you have to, you have to be positive and, uh, be an inspiration for the troops. You can't, uh, waver when they can see you, otherwise, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. Collect tithe and capture. Supreme there we go. Let's get... That, wooden fences. Gem carver. Uh, the hunter's cottage. Uh, kind of need things which will lower corruption. Shrine of Ishanos will do that. Yeah. Okay. Let's put that there. I'll upgrade that. I'm going to upgrade the Palace of Princes. Don't make me regret making a mistake there. And... Still like a thousand per turn. Um, Cease. 
Sigmund, if you could attack me next turn, that'd be great. I could make a fair bit of money from your army. Ooh, and we've got up another level here. Elbion Raiders. The Raven Queen host is supported by the petty chieftains of Elbion, who will do what they can to supply reinforcements. Recruitment rank, plus two for all clan re reinforcement units from Elbion. Plus tw minus 20 diplomatic relations with chaos. Hey, yeah, okay. The units you get are a little bit better. Uh... Well now, that's looking a little bit more secure here, isn't it? Um, the trees tell me much. I'm going to get rid of one of these druids to drop me below minus a thousand income per turn. Sigfold, could you attack me, please? There is a bit of a problem there with me taking the, uh... Oh. With me taking the, uh, green man in my army. It's, uh, made my force seem a lot stronger. And they're much less likely to attack me now. Like with the other regiments of Renown. Okay, get rid of you. I, will them. I say get rid of them. May their death be slow. Okay. Did we get a thousand, nearly two thousand gold for that battle? Chosen of Hecate. Okay. Hey, Abrax. Uh... I'm gonna move you over to, he over to here. Uh, I'll get Arcane Conduit. The Enfeebling Foe is nice, but it only affects one unit. So I kind of prefer going for uh, AoE buffs or debuffs. I'm gonna get them all in the, in the end anyway. All, all the... Uh, I'm gonna put... Uh, all points into all the spells anyway. It's just, uh... You know, priority. Okay, Sigvald moved over here. Slaughterman attack Blood Mountain. They raise Blood Mountain. The entire mountain. Uh... No. <laughs> now. Ah, delightful. What brings you here? Get rid of that. I deny this as I deny Uh it does have walls, so he will have to build siege weapons, I think. Well no, spawns are uh siege attackers. And, and he's a siege attacker as well, anyway. Um My powers are yours. I'm going to attack Abrax. Get out of here, you. Get the money. Of the dark then gods. I am going to go... Waiting. Ambush? Hmm. Well, I've gotten rid of Eggrim. Rim. 
think Vald might bring back a Norskin faction there. I don't think he can bring back Egrim. You're a problem. Supreme Sorceress of I want to get rid of Infernius. They have got a very small garrison there. But both of these might not be enough. Like what? Two blood letters and two chaos warriors of corn? If I come over here, they're probably going to retreat. Stop upgrading that in case you get sacked. Uh, get trained reflexes. Get earthing. Earthing. Uh a bloody victory. Not your shadow. Uh. Whispers. Jade Wizard. Get you. Is yours. Go down here. What do we get? Enchanted tarot deck. Hand painted and stunning in its intricity. The predictions of this deck are ones that few are pleased to hear. I think this is from another mod or something. Enemy hero action success, ch success chance minus 25%. Ambush defense chance plus 25%. That's quite a hefty bonus. I'm gonna go up here. I don't want to lose this after having just taken it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm getting pulled in like three different directions. If the Beastmen take Palace of Princes, they'll raise a herdstone there. And they'll probably sit around there for a bit. I could raise Infernius. That way it wouldn't rebel, that's how Abrax came back. And then I could go and take them later on. No. Beastmen aren't so weak that I could win that auto resolve. The forest calls. No, no, don't do that. I want you to go down here to uh, Albion will be done. Unrestrained. The portents are good. Okay, go up here. The weak shall fall. <sighs> Actually, just purified settle. Chaos rejects you. Get rid of them. Also, so I could get the replenishment in. War unceasing. Uh. Cain's ah, Malice. I am Malice. Kill me if you dare. Hey. No help needed. That's some money. Right, I'm a strategic threat now. That's why you're looking at me yes. like that. Run the world. 
I don't really want to move you out of there. Okay, get that. You are not worthy. I think with that garrison, you'll be able to beat Bellacor. Do I get these for an extra, like, oop? I can disband them afterwards. Also, I want to see the models they have. Please, Malus, don't declare war on me. I've just dealt with two other threats. Just because I'm low, I'm getting low on enemies doesn't mean that I want to go to war with others. Though sometimes it feels like the game's like, oh, you don't have anyone to go to war with. Uh, this character over here. Uh, they're going to go to war with you. I don't know who that is. What do you seek? I haven't seen them <laughs> ever before. No, that's fine. They're, they're, they're now at war with you. Uncontrollable. <laughs> the trees tell me much. Are you going over there now? Do your bidding. Moving. Okay. What orders? Keep moving down here. What skills does a druidic priestess have? My powers are yours. Uh, they get a war horse. Shamanic warrior. Uh, plus 10 melee attack and defense with plus 15% miscast space chance. Spellbinder. Winds of magic power reserve change minus 15% when increasing. Minus 25% enemy winds of magic power reserve chance. And 10% spell resistance for the hero's army. Okay, so it, it makes it harder for you to get spell points. But the spell resist resistance is nice. Channeler of the Weird. Minus 20% hit points. 10% winds of magic power reserve change. And regeneration. Okay. Well, I can give you regeneration through an item, so then it's just the uh, Winds of Magic power increase. So the minus 20% hit points is kind of rough. Wings of Fate, Life Bloom, Earth Blood, Wizard's Wild Form, Pan's Impenetrable Pelt, Invasion, Light of Battle, Fast Protection, Earthing, Magical Reserves, Arcane Conduit, Scouting, Boost Economy. Okay. Interesting mix of spell laws there. Absolutely not. Um, Bellicor's not doing what I thought he'd do. A certainty. These, uh, I, I need to get rid of some of my units. These giants are bleeding my uh, economy dry. It would have been fine if Bellacor had attacked me, but uh, he didn't do what I thought he might do, so. Looks like he sailed back to his uh, land. Okay, you just sacked it. Fine. Beyond your comprehension. Oh no, he's over there. Oh, 
<sighs> I can't. I can't sustain them all. I'm gonna get rid of all of these. I heard your orders on the wind. I just, I just can't stand around here with these, uh, Quiet, with these units in my, uh, sitting in my armies. There's not that much, mad, there's not that much, uh, battle going on at the moment, so. They still haven't actually, uh... ...stacked my settlement there. Feel my power. Wow! True power we are super least. sneaky! Hey, Siegwald, how's it going? Looks like you need a buck kicking. Get out of here. Give me your money. Okay, uh, I'm going to, A bloody victory. uh, Waiting. ambush, Moving go on. over here, spread control, wild heart, Get Temple of Ishanos. Just <laughs> sieging my uh, settlement into submission. Oh, we've nearly got a second province. Oh. How did Sigvold manage to get past my army without uh, revealing us? I guess when you go near them, it's not when you go past an army, it's not a guarantee that you uh, detect them. Sometimes you can tell that there's an army there because the game pauses as it calculates your chance of detecting them. And it's like, oh, no, you detect them, there's an army there. Hello, our Elbian brothers. How's it going? I see you have uh, learnt the art of A-posing on your horses. It is quite the skill. <laughs> oh, you're asking me for trade. Amazing. I will give you that and the non-aggression pact if you give me th 65 gold. The Earth Mother smiles upon this agreement, friend. Instant best buds. It's amazing. Friendship was but a sea away. How may, I help? may we have more? No? Okay. <laughs> let's not go too... Let, let's not be too hasty. Uh, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to have a look, see if I can get uh, allies with the uh, Empire and other such lads. Okay. Going down here does mean I'm, yeah, going to lose a turn of replenishment. But they're just ungores, mostly. I'm not too worried about them. How's our... Yeah, public order. 
Um, okay, that keeps me in the positive. I'm going to stop taxing that province for the moment. Uh, next turn, that should stabilize at zero. Yeah, and then I can build the tribal meeting to start getting public order back up again. Uh, I think I went over this in one of my other uh, prior sessions, but there was a change on how public order uh, affects the province. It used to be just um, having ha having public order drop to zero meant that a rebellion occurred. Uh, but now uh, multiple stages of public order actually affect other things. Um, such as, I think, province vision. Uh, it also really affects the growth in a province. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, so having low uh, public order in a province means that the province will grow slower. Um... Get the Huntresses. Mother of the dark convent. Settle. Ooh, we get fear of Aramar. One use of it. Minus 24 leadership. I like that. Oh, right. Yeah, we've gotten up to uh, level 4 again. Or level 5 again. So, a... Uh... What is your dark? Purpose. Another, uh... Behold, true power. Chaos Army is on the way. I said it should stabilize. Provincial instability, minus one per turn. Hostility, minus five. Whatever. But yeah, you can see there, minus zero percent ca campaign line of sight for settlements. Minus 20 growth. Control goes up the lower your public order is. Uh, but conversely, the higher your public order is, the bigger penalty you get for control. Um, it's sort of to push against... It, it's... I believe CA kind of wanted it so that p control would sort of stabilize at z around zero. Uh, unless you had things which specifically pushed it in one direction. Um, oh yeah, and recruitment cost goes up. So you can see here, we have 27 public order. What brings you here? So we're getting like... No, oh, what have we got? Uh, yeah, 27. That should be up there. Tightened. Plus 5 growth, minus 2 control, and 25% campaign line of sight. And it goes up to uh, 25 minus 8, minus 5% recruitment cost, and plus 80% campaign line of sight. All the way down at week, though. Yeah. So. Okay, we have the entire province again. Uh. Get. Eh, yeah, Grand Hunt. Okay. What would you have of me? Sail down here. See if you can meet some Bretonians and uh, some Empiremen. Okay. Tremble. We see uh, the Doom Legion here. You reek of anguish or hopelessness. <laughs> yes, let us parley. This is Dieter Helschnick. Uh, sort of a. Necromancer type guy? Um, I can't remember what his focus is. Uh, but I believe he's kind of a uh, horde type uh, vampire counts action. Yes. Hello. Friends of the Empire, come. No. Uh. What do you mean I can't balance the offer? Do I not have enough money? No. 
I guess I don't have enough money. I am. Do you wish the ladies? Well, whatever. People are going to start asking me for uh, offers. Yes. Come then. This is the uh, Jan Valdir Coopers we saw with uh, Creep Keepers. Creep Keepers. Sorry. Uh, we saw this one of the lords for a mod which uh, fleshes out Marienburg. Uh, do we see anyone else here? No, not yet. That's fine. Blood, death, we see the scalings. That's not ideal. Egil Steerbjorn is over here. You've just been having an easy time of it, haven't you? Sitting in Elbion. No worries. Ugh. I want to go and get the monolith of Catan. Get rid of Bellacore. Oh man, it feels like we're we're uh, actually on the offensive now. I have places I can go. I can choose my fights without get, having them more forced upon me. I still would like to go over and kick Sigvald. He's, I think he's over here in the frozen th city. I think he only has the one region. Now. Yeah, he's only got one settlement, so... It's just, just there. So you interested in the? Uh, Empire. Come. It's like it, it, it's zero, but it's not exactly zero. I don't think it will benefit us having a trade agreement with you. I'm surprised that uh, the ag hole here haven't been attacking us. No, stay focus. Be ready. I want to go down here. Spreading terror. And I want to get Bellacore. Shade Wizard. Fell sorcery. Okay. Enslave the sorcery. We've got that other army to deal with as well. They'll pop up over there. Probably around the time I get over there if I move at every turn. Beyond your comprehension. Okay. All right, you moved. Well, Corone is owned by Bretonia. There's another Vampire Counts faction there. I think, yeah, that's the uh, Vampire Counts Lord who can take Marienburg. Um, I forget his name. It's got like a bat wing for an arm. I think he's based off of uh, a Vampire Counts model which was released with like 7th edition I want to say. When they removed the uh, Vampire Count uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, like, you used to be able to rec in, uh, sixth edition vampire counts and earlier, you used to be able to recruit lords based on their different, uh, clans, you know, Von Karstein, Strigoi, Lamian, Necrarch, and so on, uh, and Blood Dragon. Uh, but then for, it actually might have been fifth edition, then sixth edition, I think it was actually. Um, or was it? it? Or was it seventh? 
I have it, but I, I have the book, but I don't remember which one it is. Um, they actually removed that and made it so that the vampire clans were represented by upgrades you bought for your lord. Uh, so each, so the, the you'd get a generic vampire lord, and then you'd give them skills based on sort of whatever you wanted. So you could be like, oh, I'm going to be super preternaturally quick, which is kind of like a von Karstein thing because they're more of like swordsmen or like a blood dragon thing. But then you could be like, I'm going to have wings, or I'm going to have a tougher hide, or. I'm going to have a beguiling presence and so on, right? Uh, things like that. Yeah, this guy. Munvard the Cruel. You come thinking to bargain, but I have already won. He's got a neat beard. Uh, sh I don't actually remember too much. I don't know really anything about the faction. Undeath Ascendant. <laughs> He's a... Uh, Region has been uh, raided, uh, sacked, so it's not going too well for him. Who are you? Vampire Shadows. Huh. You look quite different. Von Unterwald's Ring. Huh, okay. Wait, hang on. Right. The nation calls. Here's Jan Valder Kupiers. He's uh, not a fighter. He has a cane to hit people with. He's got a fancy hat. He's also got some other people. <laughs> Legendary Swamp Dweller. Gazunder War Rattler. <laughs> Is that an actual Warhammer character's name? Ugh. Of Most likely. <laughs> Guzunder is also another name for a bedpan. Uh, what people would use if they had to go outside to the toilet. Uncommon for a dwarf, Guzunder Wall Rattler knows every inch of his wasteland swamp, guiding anyone willing to pay him an ale the many through the many dangers the swamp provides. Pieter de Groot, universally known as Big Pete, is a, ba is a bear of a man from Swidok. He is skilled in both swords, play, and calculus. He is Jan's, Jan's personal guard and cargo protector. He's got a grenade. <laughs> and... Crispy in van... Hagen, nicknamed the strutting cock. He has a hand in the illegal, but very profitable body trade. The traffic in living beings for sale as slaves or even sacrifices. Burger archers. Yeah, I, th I think Marienburg is kind of based off like Switzerland. Pardon if I get that wrong. Or it has some inspiration from. Switzerland. Not really based off of. The <laughs> I think often the case was just like, uh, which uh, historical faction have we not, like, taken names from yet? Uh, let's choose this one. Okay, let's Torture sail over fast. here. I'm watching you, Melos. My income's now negative. Why is it? Someone raiding me. Oh no, it's because I left my region, isn't it? The trees tell me my well, don't need you there. I'm actually also going to remove you. Ugh. There's no armies moving around in my regions at the moment. If someone attacks me, I'm not going to be able to do anything because I don't have enough money. <laughs> I think Bellacor's army moved away from his settlement.
It's so nice I don't have to worry about chaos corruption in this campaign. Oh, man. Oh, no. But you just got a bunch of brethren spears. Your garrison is all infantry, primarily. You've got some Gorbeast chariots, but... Like... So? Okay, fine. Don't come ashore. Just sit there. Oh, I kind of wish you had the Rome 2 thing where you could, like, attack a settlement, a uh, port from the ocean. And you could, uh, land your units with their ships and, uh, assault on land. Or even if you could just use your armies to, like, blockade a settlement. Ah, whatever. I mean, if you had, if you could, if you did that Rome 2 thing, then you'd have to have naval battles, and that's a whole other thing. So. Sword of Cain rests. All powerful sorcerers. Uh, I want you. Go ashore, please. No. There's not enough room there for me to go ashore. What is your dark purpose? Yeah. That's irritating. Uh... I guess go down to the serpent jetty? Prepare yourselves. My powers are yours. Oh, well, never mind then. Doing that used up all my movement. Maybe you attack me on the ocean because you've got two armies there now. Spell singer. Uh, hop ashore. Will you trade with me now? Greetings from Sigma. Agreed. And you'll pay me for it. Thank you. All right. Come then. Only Sigma. Indeed. Uh, Bretonia? Champion, let the sup. Nope. Hmm. Well, you're actually attacking, uh. You're, you're regaining some territory. Skaven Plague. Find me grave pounds. <laughs> nah. Uh, while I'm messing around trying to land over here, I bet Sigvold's going to come and attack me again. I guess I could land over there. There's a bit of a shore there. Means going all the way around this ice. Okay, you moved over there. Yeah, I'm just going to go that way. I, I'm not going to mess around trying to come ashore there again. I mean, their army's moved over there, so it will take them more turns to. Uh, Try and slip past me and attack my settlement. Druki sorceress. All hands. Okay. Go faster. Go around. Oh yeah, and if you see this, you can like see rocks. <laughs> this isn't really to say that the Warhammer world is flat. It's more just we're peering into the uh realm of chaos here. So you know. Things are... Things are wacky. It's... The world isn't paper thin. Or is it? 
Zinch cackles maniacally. Because even he doesn't know. Or he does know, but he doesn't also. Because he's annoying like that. Do you wish the ladies... Don't want to... Trade with me now. Blah! Oh no, Empire. Scalings are attacking you. They've only got Karaburg. Take that back! Letting... What's his name? Trump all over your territory. Egil. Throg's coming over this way. What do you get for defeating Throg? I think this is the fourth session. Let me have a look. Uh, yes. Bellicor's coming back. Oh, they, they, they moved over there. Sorceress of the Dark Convent. We get holy zeal. Good. Come ashore. Get sprint control. Uh, upgrade this to a tribal village. Hush, listen. Go over this way. No. Very well. I will hear your pity. Eh. Who are you at war with? Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. Fecundite, Sylvania, Mulder, Rockblood, Scalings, Rancor Horde, Hold, Doom Legion. You have trades with Carcassonne, Corone, Karak Kadrin, Karazakarak, the Ice Court, and me. Okay. Uh, research. Rites of the Earth Mother will go for. So worship of the gods and then that. Come on, attack me! I'm right here. I can take you all on. Not really. I think next turn I'm going to recruit a lord and take Blood Mountain back. I have enough money for it now. <laughs> what are you doing? Someone else has got the same idea as me. No. I am only for the perfect prince. Oh, just in time, my uh, lords uh, came back. Uh. Yeah, get you. Okay, hop in there. Next turn you can move down there. So what's this army? Ulf Einarsson. Chosen of Selenesh, Marauder Berserkers, Chaos Warriors, Shield Maidens, Pit Fighters, Marauders, Spears, Marauders, Marauder Hunters, Hunters with Javelins, Horsemen with Throwing Axes, War Mammoths, Feral, War Ma Feral Mammoth, and two Skin Wolves. Shield Maidens have Shield Wall. Pit Fighters we've seen. War Mammoths. Yeah, they cause Terror. Skin Walls, the anti large monsters. No. Not your shadow 
Hmm. Are you... You're actually at, uh, at war with him. I'm gonna hide over here. And, uh... You know, just... Just observe. I'm not too interested in taking money from your settlement. But, uh... If you exhaust each other... Fighting... I can take advantage of that. Uh, oh yeah, if the provinces are looking a little different, like you see all these little houses scattered around and I think the trees are a bit of a different colour. Um, I have a mod which changes like the different changes of region effects for different factions kind of like it, it changes like what corruption kind of looks like a little bit for uh chaos factions as well as uh the province uh appearance for factions like the empire uh bretonia greenskins and so on um that is something which is in the base game but this it's it's sort of uh I think it m makes it a bit more obvious and gives a bit more variation to it. Um, let me see. Can I find it? What it's called? Uh... uh I think it's dynamic world. Yes. Yeah, it's called dynamic world. So. Oh, they foiled my ambush. Uh, it looks pretty nice with the little like extra uh, towns around the place, or the little extra houses around the place, and so on. Uh, for the empire. Houses scattered around the place. Um, I did kind of think for... Uh, when I've been playing as Nurgle... Oh, that's Sigvald. Uh, the Nurgle effects are maybe a little bit too much. Because there's a lot of these, like, pulsating postules everywhere. And Limitless power. Get a little bit over the, overboard with it. You are not really, Bellacor? You're coming to attack me? Am I going to chase you back there now? I guess so. And with Sigvald there, I want to deal with him. Ugh. Back and forth. If I had just been able to land there, it would have been fine. Or if I had gone over to there before. But, uh, whatever. Maybe I have opened a... I have created an opening for Throg to deal with Bellacor. Or me. I'm not so concerned about letting one faction get larger when it has the chance of taking out another faction. Um, I think until a faction gets really big, like, say, High Elves' uh, late campaign, uh, if I had a choice between having two AI factions near me or having one, you know, and one which is takes up both of their territories, I would prefer to have just the one because I think with the bonuses the AI gets, I would you would face more armies Beyond with Hunter. two AI armies. Uh, uh, two AI factions sending their armies to attack you, and not just one. Get out of here, Bellacor. Money, money. What brings you here? Going to take Blood Mountain. The babbling brook. Get another fear of Aramar. 
We have the entire province. Enchantress. Black arts. Uh, having a giant uh, faction, as I said, with like the high elves, does become a problem. Oh, well, okay, they took it. No problem. So much death. They now have no uh, no uh, province. Uh, does become a problem when the high elves get that big. You just face endless armies and i think the fact that they get so mi they get a lot of uh ah, legendary lords hear their like encourages them to recruit more armies i don't know fighting order factions later on can be a bit of a pain it's just you defeat one army and there's Three more coming, and you defeat them, and then they've recruited other armies, so there's still three more coming, and... It just becomes... kind of an endless wave of armies, which makes sense when they're that big, but... It's a little tiresome. And you can't really make headway against it. Anyway. I should go up to uh, Kislev. See if they can, will want to trade with me. The Empire doesn't seem to be having too bad of a pro time around here. Looks like the vampire camps have moved out a little bit. No, my province! But, uh... Like, there's not chaos corruption all throughout the Empire? It's still... Well, turn 78. That's about mid-game. Telepime is owned by the Empire. Chosen of Hecate. I'm not yours. Coked and hooded. Okay. Diran whispers. Up down here. Begins. Traveling on. Hecate, guide me. Only corn commands. Sigvald. You're asking for a whopping again. <laughs> Don't make me come over there. Right, there's Malice. He hasn't declared war on me yet. I think he just raised Blood Mountain. I did have a garrison there, so it would have been a... He, there would have been no fight. Um, because the region was still in the process of being built up. Yeah, so he just went there and raised it. Oh. Mother of the Dark Convent. Do you have that? Is it a talisman? No, it's an enchanted item. Uh. Get rid of that. Get that. Why does this menu slow down when you click on it? Still something here I haven't clicked on? Yeah. Behold, true power. Okay, move up there. Now. Awakened the crag again. Well, bellicor has been dealt with, not in the way I was planning, but... Uh, Unless he takes a province, uh, unless he takes another province, I won't have to worry about him. Maria 
Eh, Drago's still around there. Hey, Corone. Do you wish huh? the lady's favor? I'm not going to pay you 3,000 for trade. Ah, you went up there. Having fun? Yep, Shadow Legion is destroyed. No, you will pay for what you did. Again. Get out of here. I'll take your lunch money again. indomitable and the enfeebling the enfeebling foe okay i actually have some positive income i can recruit some other units oh swarm with helmets wound raiders so many choices go up here and yeah recruit two units of woad raiders and then take blood mountain you can see what i mean over there with the uh Nurgle corruption there's a lot of these little pulsating pustule trees everywhere which uh, I think maybe it's there's like a uh, maybe a, a a bit too many of them. Especially when you get like an entire province or two with chaos corruption. You end up with quite a few of them all over the place. I think this inch was those blue crystals it might have kind of the same problem. Uh, it doesn't look like you've lost brass keep. Ready to serve. Yeah, see. And you got these other static ones over here. Over here. Like the mother of oh, kids left. Our friendship my people. Thank you. Wizard. Up in there. What do you see? Okay, now I want to go places. Uh, over here, deal with Sigvald. No we are going to force march down here, get Palace of Princes, then we're going to get the Fortress of the Damned, 
go through there to Shagrath, which I think's here. Yeah, or yeah, it's around here. Then go to the uh, Frozen City. Since we don't have to worry about enemies over here for the moment, we're not at war with Throg. That's going to change, but... Uh, Okay, you can get income from here now. Uh, get growth. You can get a petty chieftain too. Uh. Get a weapon master. Chieftain of the tribe. I will do your bidding. There we go. Oh, man. Now that we've established ourselves a bit too also, uh... It means we don't have to worry about upsetting Chaos so much because we're not going to be attacking Chaos armies <laughs> every turn. That other Chaos army, did something happen to it? I don't think I saw it spawn, did I? Oh, now you want to trade with me. Uh... Well, you don't actually. Fine. I'll accept your non-aggression pact. I should go off and see the High Elves too. Get trade from them. Actually, Banaga, I... Uh, Go and say hello to the High Elves. Supreme Sorceress of Grog. Who I think have a bit of a uh, Slanesh problem there. We have lives to end. Dark Seals. Okay. Another entire province. Uh, get... Growth. Oh, one more turn until we need, can upgrade this, but I think we'll need 10,000. Yep. Income from all buildings. Um. How much am I going to get for this? 4,000. Plus a bit extra from the set, from the battle. I'm going to hold off on upgrading the Palace of Princes. I'm going to attack the Fortress of the Damned. Sack it. Colonize it. And uh, get some money that way. Uh, get steel technology. It shall be so. Go up here. Apparently, uh, I'm barely sure on this. Something that I didn't know was that stealing technology from a faction, uh, it increases your research rate. But it also decreases the faction you stole the technology from's research rate. Which, I don't know what that means for the uh, AI factions. Probably not much. But uh, that's not something I knew that it did. I thought it actually just gave you research rate. And it didn't do anything else. But uh, actually decreasing research rate is... I guess it kind of makes sense because they're sealing it so they're going to research slower but yeah barrel legion is no more worship of the gods actually getting a uh, three woad per turn okay head up here ambush uh you lad You need a uh, druidic advisor. What do you have which is not immediately useful? Uh, get rid of the bloodhound. Eh. That one. Okay. Malice, what are you doing?
I don't like what you're doing. Leave my territory. I could tell him to leave. Click a little button. Um. I don't tend to do that. I don't know why. I would be threatening... I would be th uh, threatening him to leave or I declare war on him. But I most likely wouldn't declare war on him because I can't be... I don't want to fight him right now. <laughs> Not I can't be bothered to fight him. I, uh, I don't w wish to turn around and deal with him. If he's just trying to fight Norskans over here and marching through my territory, then fine, whatever. I, I, that I don't really care about. Oh, he's... Okay, going on to the ocean. Fine, whatever. Now we're going for time. Okay. Uh, I think I'll go for the Fortress of the Damned. Sack that. I'll order resolve it. Sack that. Colonize it. Then start upgrading my settlement here. And, uh... Then turn over and, uh... We'll continue with this next time. Abominations are destroyed. We get the Banner of Trophies. Another Talisman of Lead. It's Bellacor trying to make his way back into the world. Unequaled. I want them dead. Okay. May their death Order resolve. No. Uh, demand offerings. My powers are yours. Turn around. Scream for me. Take the settlement again. Your desire? Fell sorcery. Good. Upgrade the Twisting Towers. All my money. And Sorcery you can get... Well, you've got all your spells. Uh, get trained reflexes. Yeah, this looks uh, rather tentacular. All the way down the coastline there. Oh dear. Hi, Holmes. Your, uh, your land is looking a little veiny. Over here, anyway. Over here? Ooh, vampire corruption. I was going to say, that looks a bit swampy. Do you have, uh, just Noctilus? Taking regions. My third seems kind of alright. Talaris had the, uh... Sword of Cain, so... They're probably not going too well against him with that. The forest calls. Oh, I can't... Can't steal technology, don't have enough money. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, right oh, so yeah, Shagrath, Shagrath is over here, Shard Bastion is over there, so you can go there, march through the mountains, get that, or that way, and then that way. I don't know. I'll probably go here, get that, then go up there, get that, then turn around. Nagra. We're not at war with them. Yeah, see, Frozen, Frozen City. Dargoth is owned by them as well. That's over here. No, that's... Up here. These egg holes, or whatever, uh, vassals of Sigvald, I'm pretty sure. It's odd I haven't seen any armies of theirs. I think they attacked me earlier on, but they must be uh, occupied fighting the uh, Dark Elves.
I mean, they've got the they've got a hero moving around. Okay, then Tyrion has the sword of Cain. Things are going to turn around there. However, we'll save it there, and we'll continue with uh, our Albion campaign next time. Oh, thank you very much for joining, and hope you join me then.